We have seen increasing trends of sleep difficulties during this pandemic. The stress, the uncertainty, even getting exposed to a patient with COVID already can trigger your insomnia. Staying in bed too long, disrupted routines, doing a lot of things in bed other than sleep. For example, working from home, watching the TV. You have a lot of time now to spend in bed that actually can disrupt your sleep. So, yes, we are seeing an increasing trend in sleep difficulties during this pandemic. The tips usually are set a fixed sleep schedule. You only need seven hours of sleep. Give yourself only seven hours of bedtime. Then set boundaries at home. If you work from home, limit your bed activities to only sleep and work in another room. Next is expose yourself to sunlight every morning. Because of the pandemic, because of limiting yourself inside the house, sunlight exposure is likewise affected. And sunlight is very important in setting your biological clock, which will eventually affect your timing of sleep. Next is do not clock watch. Don't look at the time. You're going to put more pressure on yourself, counting the number of hours you've been lying there, forcing yourself to sleep. Next is limit daytime naps. Don't go to bed in the afternoon. And again, never force yourself to sleep. Don't think about sleep. Some patients usually go to bed at around 8 o'clock, and then they toss and turn trying to fall asleep, and then eventually they get more frustrated, and then they find it more difficult to go to sleep. I just want to highlight that sleep is really very important. It's one of the requirements to survive. Water, food, sleep is one of that. A person cannot survive without sleep because it is a requirement for you to be able to cope up with the stress of being awake.